What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back in the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we withstood the siege of Moscow and god it was a grind because of the AI being just as good as usual. Let's rebuild, let's get two cool looking units now. Um, I think it's actually going to be time to actually let's knock, you, knock this little wandering stack out because they'll be, they'll be very very annoying. Oh no, I hate it when I do that. Oh, you're just a unit of militia anyway. So I'll just take this and this. Yeah, there's a bit of militia involved, but lots of great infantry. I'll do that. Just to, just to sort them out. And also mean I can do some rebuilding. Upgrade the logs. You, my friend. Start heading towards Minsk. Um, but I think we're going to take this army. Eh. Much to that. It's a bit of a. Wow, lots of dead troops. I think that's that thought. It just wasn't really much of a interesting battle, but we will get some sieges off this turn, guaranteed. So you lost me one unit of artillery, and I'll get you another howitzer unit. But I can't. Not until I fix things. Let's knock down both of these because they don't really matter. You just, just take, just take uh, uh, Estonia for now. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. And I'm back. Uh, okay, so then let's do the naval hospital. Upgrade you to steam powered cloth mill. Your infrastructure is all up to scratch. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take. Ah, don't move you. Because when these guys move, I'll cancel construction of this thing. But when they move, I'll I'll get them when they next do the do the next rotation. Creating a new garrison army in Portugal. So let's get some some good block of line infantry. Works on strike in Finland, but now they're okay. They'll be even better once we tell them what God thinks about them. No wait, we already are telling them what God thinks about them. Some Petersburg are gonna be happy once they break down the university. You're good, you're good. Uh, where's my army down here? Oh, Astrakhan. Uh, you carry on doing you. Let's hop down to India. Let's go to Berar. Mm, won't be very fun. I want to hit, like, Akbarabad. To be honest, that would be quite good. Got a nice army right up here. Red hit them. And these would be some interesting battles as well. Fighting off all these stacks of Indian troops. So I think I might get off one more cheeky end turn. Gives my fleet back to Norway. Cool. Damn you, Austria. I'm not going to forgive Austria for a long time about what they did to Greece. Ugh. Uh, anyway. So I think we're going to... Our main effort's going to be pushing in India. Well, to be honest, India's where the bulk of our next uh, objectives are. Um, and then, then more of our objectives have actually got to declare war on Spain. Um, so maybe sooner rather than later might be a good time to kick that off. I suppose once my uh, main French armies are ready, we can take Flanders back and send troops towards. Huh. See, they're not even they're not. See, they're just trying to to raid raid my lands, but it's not going to work. If they can't contest my armies on the field, then I'm just going to take the territories one by one. There's not a lot they can do about it. What I should be doing is treating Moscow as a as a infantry factory and just keep spamming armies out of it, because I've got plenty and plenty of cash. 
to do that. So while I've got that elite infantry capability, I may as well just keep using it. Yeah, everyone's scrambling about what to do. Although it was a bit weird they didn't let me intercept that army back there, but whatever. Yeah, Russia, you just carry on being you. Ooh. There you're attacking me, and that's great, because you've got quite a cool-looking army here. Cool. And we've got, yeah, lots of cavalry. Some duff regular infantry, and these guys are knackered. There you go. It's the Siege of Crimea, again. I can go as buggy and as choppy as that section did. For war, after all. And that's what makes this game well you got to see part of it i think uh because i've not had that problem in many other games but in empire it's quite prolific so yeah empire's like the red to embrace its problems it's great fun oh this is so much better because the breach is right there where they're going to be looking Let's plonk down. Okay, that's way too optimistic. Oh, yes. So... These guys are going hard with the... Cavalry stakes, and by the sounds of it, or seemingly, um, they have bombs attached to them, which is really cool. Something like this, I think. Let's get my cavalry out of the way. Let's drop one house unit here. May as well do that, because I'm going to want to have them firing into the breach. This guy's going to be more in the centre. There's a bit of damage control. I'm going to start setting up my... I'm going to do that, because I am going to be holding this corner so some of my stuff is not going to be very mobile whatever she might go in here same with you let's get your guild of your regiment holding a center with with a barricade let's get this unit to go here with a barricade ultimately the breathe ultimately they're not going to make it through here without serious trouble. Then I'm going to want to do that, even though I don't want to get shot in the back because I'm going to hope they don't get this far. And then, ooh, there's another breach. Yeah, it doesn't need to be as well defended. They should all go straight for the middle. Well, to be honest, I can probably get away with this this and one of these guys here to provide the cavalry, brief, cavalry trap and I'm also I am going to want to put some people on the walls at least I can't fully abandon the outer defences in which case then I might even want something like this all these guys out of here These guys are made to deploy like this. Fireball off. Fireball off. Okay, I think. Where's my general? Bit of cavalry, bit of artillery spare, but that's okay. Same here. Okay. I'm ready. So I want you to go up here to fire on units trying to make it to the breach. It's a bad idea putting you there with a barricade. Put you up here on the wall. Because obviously I want a clear field of fire from them. So you go climb in the centre. You get in there. You get in there. You 
arrive here. They could deploy stakes, but want them out of the way. First and foremost, to be honest, it looks like they don't even care. I can run through these breaches. Might try something a bit sneaky. It would be just my luck though if they decided to not go for this one. Yeah, I, I can run through my own cover. My own version of these, I think. There we go. Lovely safe little hop. I'll smash into this unit of militia, run out, knock out the guns, then probably flee. Into the militia. Hope to make them round as quickly as possible. And strength the guns. Bash. Oh, to be honest, we just run straight on. Because they've not got ranged weapons to stop me. Hit him to the heavy horse guard artillery. I haven't lost a single cavalryman. Some there, five. Okay, now run away. We'll run into this unit of militia first. Oh, it's a, it's a late marine unit, but you run into that militia unit. And these guys are in position. Place your stakes. Let's just get them back at this point. To shoot the crap out of these Narvsky regiment, otherwise they're going to start getting ants. Let's run these guys up onto the gatehouse to provide a bit of defence. Weirdly, I might end up putting my cavalry here with their carbines. Good, they've routed. Hmm, Cossack like infantry, eh? You get these men to fire onto the Cossacks. Because they are light infantry, so they are good. If they won't 
be take forever. Get in position, Jack. Fire. Let's get the fire well. He'll probably knock that building down. Let's run the cavalry there. Turn carbines on so they'll at least fire into anyone that may try to charge my cannons. Sniping the Cossacks, and they are probably going to get their grappling irons off. Militia are gone. We need marines coming in. Who will get summarily executed with everything I've got. these guys to just keep repeatedly firing. These guys, I hope, are running all the way around. It'd be nice if they would. Yeah, they are going to eventually destroy this command HQ, which might not be a bad thing. So it's firing round shot. You better be firing your little socks off. doing exactly what they did in the last part. At least you've got some good light infantry. And they're a small unit, so they should rout fairly quickly. Rout, men. Rout. Good. Let's work on the next one. Let's just get you to start hitting the unit that's further out. It looks like this Cossack unit is going to come all around, which is lovely. This Cossack unit is going to be engaged by my Marine Company. They've got 190 men there, so it could get a bit closey. Damn, that's not a bad shot. instead. And my light infantry cover the barricade. Oh wow! That's a huge, huge, huge kill. So let's get the artillery to fire on the next unit now. This angle seems to work great. There we go. So they've tried to circumvent my defence. Okay, so they have captured the gate. Notionally. So I'm intrigued to see how this combat will work out, considering my guys are stuck on the wall. My infantry should be theirs. As well. You see, this is having my guys with carbines is not a bad idea. Oh, they've run out of ammo. Okay, in which case, then let's just move you back. 
You are not a field marshal, so you are not equipped with pistols. or onto the gatehouse. Let's see if this is enough for me to recapture it, because we've got a whole crap load of guys not doing anything. So they've gone. This fractional unit's trying to move up. So this unit you in with that infantry, that line infantry unit. Men aren't pouring fire into that poor little unit. Why not? Go on, the Gilles, get into position. Fire. Not as devastating a volley as I'd hoped. Good, damn right, it's our gay house. Let's spin you back around before you do any more trouble. around. So let's get these guys to already be working on their rapid firing. Yep, that'd be great. I like doing it like this just so it means I have to micro less. chase down this Cossack, the 144th Regiment of Foot versus the 8th Regiment of Cossack Foot. Oh, come on, men. Shoot down those, shoot those knights off their horses. Delicious. speed of time because stuff's happening in places but not a lot. I seem to really need these guys to actually get up on the wall before because they are dying when they get over here. Over. Whoa, okay. Speed, speedy Gonzalez. Back over here. Yep, the depleted troops and reinforcements are getting shot to bits. Well, who have they got over here now? You do have an artillery. Six pounder horse artillery. They may end up bringing this section of the wall down. If they do, that's still in quite a nice little kill zone spot. Let's watch these Cossacks. They see what greets them around the corner. Just a musket fire. If they even make it to the barricades, they manage to break in time. There's a tree coming back. My quick line wanted to fire against the light hussars. Okay, let's speed up again. Oh god! They're attacking my precious walls! That's why you have your reserve.
get to move these guys over here to take over from my line infantry. Let's move my line infantry over here to take over from my regular infantry. Well, especially if they're just going to now... Okay, that's, that's dumb. Technically, have the slight edge because they've got roughly the same numbers, sort of 100 versus 100, 108. And their line of retreat, their regular line of retreat, is probably better than mine in the combat. Okay, so that unit that was throwing stuff up here has now ran towards the breach. You guys are dumb. Why don't you run into the run into the fantastic uniforms of my French troops? There you go, my Royal Barbarian is engaged. Full route. Exactly what I'd like to see. Ah, oh, there's two guys left that made it to, from the marine unit. And they're gonna make it too. I'm gonna tell everyone what a bad scene it was. Here comes the cavalry. Let's see how just Oh look at the shot got one of the marines. So they're very careful. So they're careful, they could need they could like wind some of their troops around, but I don't think they're gonna they can do that. Magic magic flying or magic flying swords. There they are. Beautiful. So if you were conserving your ammo, you would then not fire. Because you'd accept that they'll all just die on this spike anyway. And he's gone. Okay, so this answer is I'm not sure who I was after those those Jagoons, or those Hazars, but I'll go after those those uh, grenadiers, I think. Man, let's hold fire with you. And let's get my gendarmerie to do a similar sort of thing as before. To go shoot down that. Well, not shoot down. To go and attack those guns. Because the light cavalry is going to be super duper fast. Did they try? Oh, they tried to follow up. Didn't work though. And they're going to get pummeled by musketry as they flee. I want them stuck. That's unfortunate. Let's my cavalry right in. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so I might have to switch these guys because they're now they're now officially out of range. Start round shotting the light hussars. Let's bring my cavalry. Okay, let's, run, let's walk my cavalry over here to try and provoke them to attack. Because the last of their infantry, they've just got cavalry left. It's fresh. My guys are tired. B 
happier the plan is um, if I can entice them into preferably this breach that would be lovely Okay, so they're, yeah, they're charging on mass, so. Hot fire with you. Keep my guys nailing it. Their horse is gonna get, their cavalry's gonna get fired upon. Run! Run, you fools! Cavalry is going to get caught. Well, it has been caught. That's why they've all stopped. So just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. If you don't, if you don't keep clicking, they all stop and turn around and try. It. Okay, I need to turn everyone's fire by will, fire will off. Because this is going to be noisy. All these horses die. Not mine, because mine just doing a nice little hop over it. But Or not, maybe. Then quick run the crap out of them. That's another good plan too. Oh, there we go. So the 15th light horse. My guys are going to engage them over the barrier. You're a brave soldier. No, they can't do anything to you. Run, 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 run. As they all fall upon their own barriers and they die. Do they even die running backwards? They do die running backwards. Is that every, the only one that's not routing is the general. No, if he's going to die valiantly charging into the breach, I want to turn you off. No one shoot. Let's allow their general to valiantly die running into a set of spikes. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if he died or if he ran away. As another reasonable win, I would sooner fail than not be among the greatest John Keats. That's a nice exchange ratio. But that is another defensive Russian siege. Yeesh. Uh, even I'm playing this can only do this so many times. <laughs> Yeah, they're rebalancing. They're, they're firing out lots and lots and lots of troops from the east. Could be time for my Berlin forces to get into the mix. Start to apply some pressure from the west. Ah, oh, I'm defending against a force from Russian attackers. Uh, so I don't want to fight it because I've just fought that long battle. And I'd like a bit of a break. And I'm not going to auto-resolve it because look at that. Power balance, 3,200 versus 484, and it says toss of a coin. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to end the part here because I'm going to have to fight it. So I will do that next time. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the final slaughter of Astrakhan.